Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is going to be an EDC pipe setup video. Basically, I'm showing you how I carry and use my pipe stuff uh, integrated with my EDC. Alright, so it's basically two parts. First, I'm going to show you how I carry it, and then I'm going to show you, you know, what gear I use to carry it in. Alright, in this case, the pipe, how it's protected, and how I carry my pipe tobacco. Um, so first off, I have my EDC bag here. Um, I'll do an update in the future on this. I've changed a little bit since I did my last video. There are some different things inside and of course it's packed to the gills. Um, nice Max Edition bag. Uh, I've been using this for literally two or three years on and off. But this has been mainly my, uh, my EDC bag, like Bob bag, whatever you want to call it. It's with me everywhere I go. If I leave the house, it's in my vehicle. I don't always take it inside, you know, it's, it's very heavy and cumbersome, but it's always with me. So I always have tools on me, and then I have other things that I can't carry on me because they're too big, or things I'm just not using on a daily basis. So that's the EDC bag, or Bob bag, whatever you want to call it. All right, now inside the bag, in the main compartment, I have this, all right? This is a dime bags pouch. Now, I'll give you a heads up on these. Uh, I know someone who's been using this for years to protect a glass pipe, okay? These bags are sold pretty much for pot smokers, all right? And this is how they, you know, protect your, your glass pieces. I don't use it for that, okay? But I will give you a tip. Don't buy one used on eBay like I did. I got this for, uh, I think it was 6 bucks with $2 shipping, which is cheaper than normal. I mean, I think these are only like $15, $20 or something like that. But I figured, yeah, why not get used one? I don't care. You know, I don't want to pay extra money for a brand new one. I'm just going to be protecting the pipe. Not a good idea. It, it came just reeking of weed. So that was a stupid idea. But I cleaned the hell out of it, and uh, it doesn't smell like that anymore. I've been using it for a pipe for a long time now, so it, it smells like pipe. But basically, it's an all-hemp bag. Um, dime, bag dime Bags is the brand. But it's filled. It just has a great padding. All right, super, super padding on this. There's a pocket in the front which I don't use because it doesn't really close all the way. It's just kind of like a pouch there. All right, unzipper it. See the pipe? I have my Fat Bastards pipe in here. Beautiful, beautiful piece. All right, that's what I've been using lately. I do change it out all the time. I also use this a lot. This is my birth year pipe. And um, I got a pipe from uh, Blackheart Customs, uh, which is just amazing too. So I've been using that as well. But inside the pouch, I mean, it's really, really padded. Again, I know someone that has protected a, a glass pipe for who knows how many years. I know it's going to protect my pipe. So any kind of impact, um, it's not going to, I'm not going to worry about the, the shank break-in or the stem or anything like that if I drop it. Uh, so that's why I use this. But it's, it's really unnecessary because of the fact that it's in this bag already. Before I just had it in a pouch, nothing was going to happen to it. But I just like the idea of having a padded case. So inside this case, we have a zipper pocket. You look in there and I have my pipe tool. Of course, there's a, the check tool in there, as well as a custom tamper. All right, but also the check tool must have for pipe smokers out there. So it's convenient, holds the pipe just fine, keeps it nice and protected. All right, that's what I like about it. So anyway, that's how I've been uh, storing the pipe inside the bag. But what I really want to show you, which I found was pretty cool, is this Max Edition can holder. All right, now I first saw this come out in the market, I thought. I immediately thought, like, to hold a tuna can, and I, I figured, why would someone want to do that? And then about five seconds later, I realized there's a multitude of reasons why you'd want a can-shaped pouch. All right, first off, a lot of people would probably put dip in this. Um, you, can, you can do whatever you want. I mean, you can put a, a container, a tin container in here, and put fishing lures. I mean, really, the sky's the limit. Just because of the fact that it's round doesn't mean you have to put something round in it. All right, but I love this little bag, and this is how I carry my pipe tobacco. All right, now, two things I want to talk about. The first one is the fact that you could put whole cans in here like this, all right? This is obviously some Patriot Flake, really good smoke, but most of the tinned tobaccos will not fit in this pouch. They're just too big. This one happens to fit, but it's a snug fit, and this is what I've been carrying lately. Um, I use this tin. This is a chocolate that was sent to me, an energy chocolate, which is actually really good. I did a review on it. But I like this tin. This tin happens to fit this perfectly, all right, without having to kind of stretch it out a little bit. So I use this, and I'll put different types of tobacco in a baggie so they don't dry up on me, put it in this tin, and then reuse this tin in this pouch, all right? Something to note is some of the square tins will fit in this pouch just fine, you know, and zipper up. It doesn't have to be round just because the container's round, or just because the pouch is round. 
All right, but again, most of the tins out there are just too big, unfortunately. All right, so in this case, I would put some of this in a baggie, put it in a smaller tin, and then I'm good to go. But that is how I've been carrying my pipe tobacco. So that's pretty much it. Just wanted to show my uh, setup here. These bags do come in different sizes. This is the small size. And just as a quick note, the small size just fits a pipe. Um, obviously, there's multitude of different sizes and shapes and stuff like that. You can get these bigger. You can remove the stem of your pipe to make it fit, but I wouldn't. I mean, you really only want to take your stem off for, for detailed cleaning and stuff, because obviously the more you take it on and off, the looser it's going to get. Um, but I do highly recommend these pouches uh, for, you know, for pipes, for, for regular briar pipes or, you know, tobacco smoking pipes, not necessarily just for, for glass stuff. But, um... Yeah, I do like this container quite a bit for carrying tobacco. It is versatile. Like I said, it won't carry those big tins, but you can certainly find a tin that fits and then use that for tobacco. But, uh, you know, there's there's basically three times you're going to find me smoking a pipe or cigar because I don't smoke them every day. Um, I smoke when I, I fish. All right, that's something that's kind of new. It's extremely relaxing fishing to begin with on a nice, beautiful night, you know, cool evening. Throw in a pipe or a nice quality cigar in that mix. Wow, you know, super relaxing. Uh, it's really a time to kind of reminisce and think about life and, and, and feel that everything you have in life, you should appreciate. You know, it's those moments where you kind of have these epiphanies and, and you know, all the bull crap that you complain about and all your problems, you know, overall, they're nothing compared to other people's problems, you know. And it's a time to kind of feel good about yourself and, and try to step back for a second from life and, and realize that there's, there's so much happiness around you. It's just sometimes we get complacent and we, get, we take things for granted, of course. But anyway, those are my moments where, you know, I'll, I'll, you'll find me smoking a pipe or cigar. Besides that, uh, after a really nice meal, and again, that's not all the time. That's just uh, on occasion if I just, you know, cook a nice fancy dinner or something like that. Hanging out with Christina, I might, um, you know, light a cigar or a pipe. And, um, you know, and then special occasions, of course. So, anyway, I want to show you my setup. Like I said, I highly, highly recommend the Max Edition pouch. You could use this for, for dip, you can use it for friggin' candy if you want, <laughs> snacks, whatever. It's just a nice, cool little pouch. Just don't be, um, don't feel constricted that you only can put round things in this pouch. I kind of did that. When I first saw it come in the market, I thought like, oh, you know, what would you put in there? What do you really have? And I immediately thought of like tins of things, right? But it doesn't have to be like that. It could be loose stuff. You know, you can keep your knife cleaning kit in here if you wanted to, you know, whatever. Um... But I wanted to mention that, highly recommend it, and I do recommend these, all right? They don't have to be used for, you know, for what their intended purpose is. You can, of course, use it for whatever you want, all right? In this case, holding a nice pipe and keep it from getting damaged. All right, well, before I go, I might as well mention cigars since we're talking about it a little bit. Um, I don't always have this on me in my bag because it takes up too much real estate, but if I'm planning on bringing cigars somewhere, I will use this. Now, I do have hard travel cases, those travel humidors. They're cool too. The problem with those though is most of them are limiting on the length of cigar. I like this because they're much longer. Uh, this is a McKinley brand pouch. I think I got this one from CheapHumanors.com. There's a pouch in the front with two pockets. You can put your cutter in one pocket, a lighter, two lighters, whatever you want. The whole thing on the front lifts up. You can see it holds three cigars. There's three cigar tubes. They're reinforced like PVC. All right, so super thick. They're not going to allow the cigars to get crushed or damaged in any way. And like I said, the extra length here um, is perfect. So if you want to have a longer stick, you can certainly carry one. And my favorite part about this is that there's a clip on the back. All right, so this clips to your pocket if you want to kind of hang this off your side, depending on what you're doing. In the case of going fishing or something like that, um, you do have them available to you, but they're not shoved in your pocket. They're not going to get damaged. It's just a cool little case. I believe these are originally uh, designed for, for golfers. You know, you kind of clip this to your bag, your golf bag. So if you're a golfer, that's certainly awesome. Uh, choice, but anyway, see right here, McKinley. If you guys want to look that up on uh, on Amazon or Google or something like that, I'm sure they have them out there still. So anyway, that's how I carry cigars. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you soon. Take care.